Hello, Sagittarius, and welcome back to my channel. T to the Y to the M to the A R A. All right, today we're going to see what's going on in your energy, spirit. What message do you have for the Sagittarius Collective today? Let's see what's going on for you. What would they like you to know? Already, when I was meditating, the energy that just kept coming out was forgiveness. The key word of this reading is forgiveness. They are wanting you to release something, forgive yourself, forgive yourself, and let it go. You cannot change the past. I feel like something happened. Somebody is repeating the behavior of their parent and you have to forgive and let it go in order for you not to repeat this behavior because this behavior will be passed down to your child or your children. And it's something that's in your generational line. So let's see what's going on, Spirit. Okay. The first energy that came out for you is the Two of Pentacles. And this is letting me know that you are juggling and trying to balance home life and all the responsibilities and things you have going on. I feel like you're currently at this time going through a lot of financial stress. And you're trying to balance all the bills and responsibilities and everything you have going on. I feel like you seem like you have a lack of a social life because of all the responsibilities. You're constantly at work, keep having to juggle everything. And you feel like... Okay, I feel like this is a financial reading. What just came out just now and what I'm hearing... I feel like somebody's spending behavior or their financial situation is something that's repeated in your life. Spirit is telling you to stop holding on to this book, to forgive this and let this go, or you're going to be stuck in this energy. Maybe your family had no money or lack in financial responsibility. They never taught you about money, never taught you about debt or how to spend or how to use credit cards properly. And now you're repeating the same behavior. I feel like somebody possibly has a lot of stuff or belongings in their home. And now you're repeating the same behavior when it comes to these things or finances or something so what just came out is you're right now you're trying to break a generational curse or you're trying to break these generational behaviors of balancing finances i'm not getting this energy where you came from a family of wealth so right now in your life you're dealing with this energy of constantly feeling tired feeling like you have no life because all you do is go to work and you come home and you go to work and you come to home and you take care of these responsibilities but you feel like you don't have a lot of money but you're doing all these hours of work and spirit is telling you like accept your lot in this situation if the reason why you feel like this i feel like this is repeating again i just read this i just read this in another read and here it is coming out again Maybe, I don't know, the message didn't come out strong enough, but we're going to say it anyway. <coughs> I feel like Spirit is telling you to take your responsibility, take your responsibility for how you spend your money. That's what's coming out. Like emotionally, you are fed up and tired, but Spirit is saying take responsibility for how you are spending your money or what you have going on or the way you're holding on to your money. Like I, I see water, like money is just... What's that saying? Money is just running through your hands like water. Like as soon as you get it, you go buy something. Shopping. I see Amazon packages or something. You're constantly on T-Mobile or something. You're spending this money as soon as you get it. And it's going out of your hands so fast. And But you're sitting here stressed out over financial situations. And trying to balance it all. Balance the books and all that. There is a need to figure out what is your wants and what is your needs. Because you will have all these things one day. Maybe not today, but you eventually you will have it. Right now, you're feeling like your life is very imbalanced, and this is the temperance energy. So this is you, Sag. With the temperance coming on in reverse, you feel like you have an imbalance, and this is due to you possibly like just indulging a little bit too much where how you spend your finances. So once again, um, you're strongly sending this energy of financial stress. And spirit, remember, prior to me, when I was meditating prior to reading, this song kept coming out. I forgive myself and I release all the things that don't serve me. So what is it in your life that's not serving you right now that you keep spending your money on? Like, I, like I see subscriptions, too many subscriptions. Maybe 
not having subscriptions right now so you can bring more money back into your life or find an additional job or doing something on the side but paying attention to all the little things like i hear this saying right now uh where's my money going or where's my money i don't know look that up also i hear the saying the pyf pay yourself first so pay yourself first and also look up where is my money going because spirit is telling you right now take responsibility for how you are spending your money it's not that you don't have the resources you have the resources you have to be wary of what's going where like budgeting or making those meal in the bags or something like finding like lowering the grocery bill from at least six hundred dollars a month to three hundred dollars a month by cutting back on certain things or stretching meals or just because there's this energy here of just overindulging like maybe drinking too many sodas or drinking out too much i mean drinking out too much or too many sodas or cut back on the liquor or the wine because i keep seeing a lot of cups i see a lot of cups so i don't know if somebody possibly have an alcohol problem or is addicted to soda or loves drinking smoothies or something or starbucks possibly keep drinking starbucks spending that extra five dollars the spirit saying don't buy the starbucks anymore make your coffee at home don't drink the soda anymore make some try to make some soda or something they do have ways of making soda now look it up <laughs> where you can like puree some fruit or something put some sparkling water in it like there's some need of cutting something back because of an overindulgence but also spirit is letting you know stop being so hard on yourself but correct the situation because it's something that happened this was a behavior that was passed down it's the way you look at money almost in a sense of um your family was i guess your family would say like yeah. Sometimes you got to treat yourself. You hear that saying, you got to treat yourself. So then you buying money or buying the latest and greatest or name brand this or spending all this money. And it's like, life doesn't require all that. You can wear a simple red t-shirt or black t-shirt every day or wear one or wear two good pairs of shoes. Buy your kids two good pairs of shoes. And then you don't need 10 pairs of shoes or 10 purses, one good purse or something like that is what I hear. Or one, whatever it is, one good baseball cap or something. You don't need like 10 caps for one, 10 caps or hats for one head. They are telling you to forgive yourself for the mistakes that you made in the past. Because right now you're paying for that. I don't know if somebody might be possibly going through the bankruptcy or just feeling down because they got some type of loan or let me hear. <coughs> Somebody got a loan or something. It's like you're coming down on yourself. Like, I wish I never got that loan or I never paid for that education or whatever because now my money is messed up. Let me put one of these money cards. This is coming out. Life purpose. More than, more than money. Spiritual wealth. Counsel. Being guided. Divine path. Okay. With the Buddha energy. And then financial growth coming to fruition, abundance, outdoor jobs, family business. Okay. Yes. This is why spirit, somebody is going through, somebody is going through a financial hardship with finances right now. Because spirit is going to bless you in an abundant way spiritually. You have spiritual wealth. It's your life purpose. Whatever you're doing, you're going to have more than, you're going to have way more than money. You're going to have so much coming in. You're going to have spiritual wealth. But first, Spirit is asking you that you must forgive yourself to release this energy that's stuck on you. That you cannot receive the spiritual wealth or this abundance if you don't release this energy that's stuck on you. Financial growth coming to fruition. Abundance coming in. You could do something with an outdoor job or a family business. You want to have stability, they said, that's coming in. This is your divine path. You could be a counselor, like counseling people, talking to people, giving advice, or you are being guided right now. And the guidance you're receiving, even being on this video right now, is what they're telling you is bring balance back into your life. You don't want to have physical poverty. Is that a thing? Physical poverty or financial poverty or lacking in your finances? Because then that's going to go, that's going to feed into other things. If you're concentrating on your finances, then how can you be operating out of love if you're constantly worried about your finances and juggling a job or something? I don't know if you're needing to release something and you're being called to do something spiritually or they're sending you on a divine path, but you're just holding on to this money or you're holding on to this job. 
because you're worried about the bills or debt or whatever it is that you need to pay, that you're not going into your calling because you're holding on or stressing about finances. And Spirit is saying, no, this is more than money what we're going to bless you with. You are going to receive spiritual wealth with all the things that we're going to give you. But you must release something. Let me see what else is coming out. Pain. Nine of Pentacles, the Hierophant, and the Reverse, and the Death. I feel like in the Spirit is saying you're lacking in some type of perspective on how you see finances. Like you were tricking yourself or deceiving yourself, uh, being uh, being dishonest with yourself. Like almost, I feel like. Somebody kept running up a credit card or running up debt, like just like, oh, it will come back later. I'll earn it back or make something like, and then it's like something had caught up with you, especially since here is Mercury retrograde, something caught up with you as far as your finances or the way you were handling things or spending things or having a good time, maybe partying or something. And so now... Spirit is telling you to take a look within... Maybe there was some type of disconnection here and you kept repeating a negative pattern when it came to your finances or the way you spent money. And so spirit wants you to break this habit. And this, what I'm saying is this habit came from your bloodline. I feel like they will bless you with things spiritually and they will bless you with abundance and wealth and finances. But the, your spending habits came from something that was placed on your family line. So it must stop and it has to, it has to stop with you. Especially with the Hierophant coming out in reverse. Like, this is, they want you to break. <laughs> the Hierophant in reverse is breaking cycles, breaking non-traditional things. You don't have to spend money the way that your family spent. I keep wanting to say family, family. You don't have to spend money the way that your family spent it. Just because your family, uh, whatever it is, the way your family eats or the way that your family, I feel like you, I'm getting like this black sheep energy or you're just somebody different. Like, maybe your family, you didn't grow up in wealth or you didn't grow up in, like, uh, I feel like you didn't grow up being taught how to properly balance a checkbook or what to do if you get a credit card or what to do or how to save money, how to invest in a, in a stock market. And you've done a lot of risky things like ran up debt or door, did something. So now you're either contemplating bankruptcy or you're trying to figure out how to get out of this. And Spirit is saying they're going to bless you. This is your divine path. But you must learn this lesson at this time. Which is breaking the cycle of this debt. This debt of uh, being in poverty with debt or something. Because it's... We have the nine of pentacles coming out in reverse. And this is speaks of somebody who like just has a lot of reckless spending. Just shopping, 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 spending, spending. And it's like you're causing your own pain. You're causing your own pain. You're causing your own ha unhappiness and heartache from the way you spend money. Almost like it's a repetitive cycle. Like if I'm feeling down or depressed or sad or anything, then I'm going to go shopping. And therefore, once you go shopping and you run up the debt or the credit or whatever, now you're sitting there sad because you don't have enough money. So they want you to stop this. You have the resources that you need. You just have to like go count the bank. I mean... Balance the checkbook and just change your mindset. And how you look at money, how you're looking at the finances. So going back to that thing of what I said, um, I forgive myself and not release all the things that don't serve me. They want you to release everything that's not serving you and forgive yourself for what you did. You can't change it. Like the money is gone. You spent the money already is gone. Okay. What are you going to do from here on out? What are you going to do from today on forward to change the situation? So once you receive, once you get out this situation, you will never put yourself back there. This is the spiritual lesson that's going on right now for you Sagittarius. Because, you know, there are plenty of people who got the contracts. They want to lump sum of money, receive whatever it is. I see tax money, lump sum of money, sign the football contract, ba um, basketball contract, or whatever it was. Somebody received a lump sum of money and they blew it. And they are coming down on themselves. And they're continuing this cycle. of this just keeps going out of control. Hell, somebody could even win a lottery, got a lump sum of money, and they just blew it. And now they're just sitting here down in the press. And spirit is like, break this. You can come out of this. 
Just reevaluate your situation and you will change this. Look, I even want to show you this. I want to show you this. You're not my binary. Right? <coughs> Excuse me. On my website, I have these checks. They are called Bank of Abundance checks. I take, I write these, sign these checks, write them to myself. Anytime I need something, you can truly expert. Just as much as you watch these videos and you hear me talk or you hear any other reader talk and you're like, hey, that resonates with me. Consulting the divine, speaking to the divine. I don't know if you've ever heard the story of Jim Carrey when he wrote a check to himself for things that he needed. Go and ask your spirit guides, ask your spiritual team, ask God, whoever it is you believe in, ask them. You can write yourself a check, put it underneath your pillow, print one out yourself. If you don't want to go on the website and buy this, print one. Just print one, create one yourself. But write yourself a check. Take a check out your out your checkbook, write yourself a check for your dreams, your goals, whatever it is that you want. I don't know if you know her, the Lisa Nichols. She wrote herself a check and she would mail herself a check to the bank of all for her dreams and her goals. And then later on, she wound up saving $60,000 for her future. You need to do that. Don't spend every single dime you have, but save for a rainy day. Pay yourself first is what's coming out. So that way you won't keep going on this repeated cycle so it can stop with you. Because what you don't want to do is pass these bad financial behaviors on to your children because they're paying attention. Every time you say, I don't have this or mommy can't get it today, daddy can't get it today or <coughs> whatever it is. They're paying attention to every little thing, whether you say it or not. They're paying attention to did daddy save or did mommy save or whoever, your niece, your nephew, whoever looks up to you. People are paying attention. So not only do you want to do it for yourself, but you want to do it for the next generation. Because these same behaviors will go into the next generation of how you're spending your money or how you handle your finances. Did you save or did you have to work all the way until you, was 80, until you turned 80 years old because you didn't save for a rainy day or have a backup plan or didn't have a retirement or whatever it is? <laughs> Spirit, give me one. What's the financial lesson here? I'm sorry, I said financial lesson, Lord. What is the lesson here for my Sagittarius? What lesson are they learning right now? Imagination. I embrace and nourish the creative aspect of my mind. Didn't I just say that with sign, writing a check to yourself? They want you to embrace your imagination. Or just be creative in your mind here. What can you learn from this situation? Embrace and nourish the creative aspect of your mind. Be creative. You could be creative with the meals. Take some beans and some fajita salt or whatever. Create. <laughs> you can create certain meals here. You could be creative of, hey, we could have fun without having to go to the movie theater. Let's go buy a $3 movie on Netflix or YouTube or something. They want you to imagine certain things. Be creative so that way you can save for a rainy day. <laughs> And give me one more excuse me for the coughing. You also had a lesson of loneliness right now. I know that I am never alone. Maybe sometimes you're feeling alone when it comes to your financial burdens, feeling like you don't have support or whatever here when it comes to balancing all these things and taking on these responsibilities. But just, I'm here to tell you, just take it one day at a time. You will get through it just one day at a time. How do you chew an elephant? One bite at a time. How do you build a house? One brick at a time. Just take it one day at a time. And just... Be better than who you were yesterday. It don't matter if you could save a darn penny. Those pennies will add up. Save a quarter, save a dollar. They will add up over time. So that way you can get out of this situation. Because there are some people with a ton of money who could be very, um, I don't know, who could be lacking in finances. Like there could be people with a ton of money. Like there are people, okay, let me, how do you say this? There are people who make $100,000 a year, but they only, but they spend nine hundred and ninety nine thousand and then there are people who make forty thousand a year but they wind up saving twenty thousand it's all in what you do with your finances and your resources all right that's all i have today if anything resonated please leave me a message down below and i'll see you in the next video take care